Hi everyone, my name is Siraj. I'm a tutor with MCAT Mastery, and in this video, I hope to give you guys a little bit of insight into how to prepare for your January MCAT exam. I took the MCAT last January, and I got a 523 on it. I studied while I was working as a full-time, working a full-time job, and was a full-time student in college. And hopefully, my journey can provide you guys with a little bit of insight into how go, how to go about your own studying. So to begin, let's start with a little bit of context on the timeline of my studying. I began studying in around mid-September last year and studied till mid-January when I took the exam. The first phase of preparation for me was content review, which lasted from mid-September to mid-November, which was around two months. I primarily used Khan Academy for content review and just used videos, and I think it's important to keep in mind that I was a full-time college student at this point and I'd taken all my prereq courses, so I had a pretty strong foundation on how to approach this content sort of stuff from the MCAT perspective. And just know that if you're non-traditional or have other, other things going on, there's no problem with taking more time to do content review. My days essentially look like this. In the morning, I'd wake up at around 6.30, yes, I know, very pleasant, and I would watch a few Khan Academy videos, then I'd go to class, go to my job, and then at night I'd review whatever I went over for those videos to make sure that everything I learned was really ingrained. And this may sound difficult, and I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't the easiest thing I've ever done, but it's necessary to have a consistent schedule where you're keeping times to study for the MCAT when you're in school and working, as I was. After content review, I moved on to the next phase of my preparation, which was taking practice tests and doing practice problems. I primarily use UWorld for this, and my plan from mid-November to mid-January was to go through UWorld at least once and take a practice, practice exam every other week. And then I would spend time reviewing those practice exams and those UWorld questions. While I was in school, I would do UWorld in the morning, around two hours or so, which would be like essentially 59 questions, and then I'd get to review those questions. Then at night, if I wasn't too tired or if I didn't have midterms, I'd do another block of UWorld. And then on weekends, Saturday or Sunday, I'd go to the library, my same prepackaged lunch, and take a practice exam, which was just a fantastic way to spend Saturdays or Sundays, but, you know, it was necessary. One thing I want to point out is that throughout all this preparation, I made sure to keep a break day. And break days are so, so important. Their value cannot be understated. You need to have a day where you're just not doing any MCAT, any school, otherwise you're going to get burnt out and your studying isn't going to be as effective as it normally would be. So hopefully that provides you guys with a little bit of insight into how, to, how my MCAT journey went and you can take away a little bit from that. Now I want to discuss building a schedule because this was 100% one of the most important parts of my MCAT preparation and it's, in my opinion, the reason I was able to stay focused and eventually do so well on the test. So at the start of my academic quarter, I made a list, a physical calendar, which listed out all my midterms, all my exams, all my assignments, all my work commitments, and then I planned an MCAT studying around that. I made the schedule on an, I made my MCAT studying schedule on an Excel spreadsheet where I'd assign myself things to do every day. I personally didn't feel it was necessary to give myself particular times where I had to do things during the day because I don't like to micromanage that much, but if you feel like it's necessary for you, go for it. And I was also sure to incorporate break days, which once again, very important. It may seem like a lot of time at the start to make a schedule, but it's a very, very worthwhile investment. And it'll definitely keep you focused while you're studying. And if you don't have time to do it yourself or you need help, we at MCAT Mastery are always here to help you out and can help you build a good study plan so that you're able to tackle your test in January. Now the final part of this video is kind of talk, going to talk about how I managed to stay disciplined. And I found that it was very, very helpful to try and work through my schedule in two week blocks. Because things come up and sometimes you're not able to get through everything you actually needed to in a day. And so my goal was to keep myself accountable for these two weeks and that was it. That's how I tried to stay disciplined. And it really helped me as well to have a someone to study with, someone to work with, someone to discuss these questions with, that kind of made MCAT studying a little bit less tedious. And once again, break days were hugely important. I, for example, went to, I made my own ice cream a couple of times. I made Earl Grey, and then I ate that while I studied, so that worked out pretty well. These days really help you recharge and prepare so you can tackle studying with essentially a clear mind, because the MCAT really requires you to focus. 
and it tests your critical thinking and you need to be prepared and mentally focused when you're studying otherwise you won't get the most out of it. So the main takeaways from this video are 1. Pick out times in your day where you can fit in MCAT studying around essentially the rest of the stuff going on in your life. So that means early mornings, late nights, whatever works for you. But you need to have those times kind of consistently scheduled. And on that note, you need to create a schedule, at least in my opinion. It was, at least for me, it was very, very helpful. And it really provided me with a foundation to keep my studying going, and it made sure I wasn't like, wasn't confused whenever I was going back to studying. And I always knew what I had, I had to do, and that kept me very disciplined, very organized. Remember to take breaks, they were very, very important, and try and find someone to study with if you can. Remember that when it comes to all this stuff, building a schedule, coming up with a study plan, we're here to help you at MCAT Mastery. And we know that some of you may be coming from different, maybe non-traditional, maybe been out, maybe out of school for a few years, and we take all that into account and can certainly help you out. If you're already in the middle of your MCAT journey, just realize it's not too late to adjust your schedule and to make some changes. It's a hard journey and it takes a long time and you need to be, need to be prepared to go through it the right way. There will always be missteps, but just try not to get down on yourself, and that, that might result from doing some of the things that I talked about in this video. Building a schedule, taking break days, finding a friend to study with, scheduling al allocated time to study, and figuring out how to go through practice questions, practice problems. And there's a lot that you can really change, no matter how far or close you are from the exam. Which is why myself and the rest of the MCAT Mastery team is always creating resources to help you guys out with your MCAT prep. I'll put some links to some resources for MCAT strategy videos that should help you prepare for the test, as well as uh, sign up to a daily newsletter, which will give you inspiring stories to keep you motivated on how on your MCAT journey and make sure that you can get through this as best as you can. Once again, we at MCAT Mastery are always here to help you, and feel free to sign up to get tutored by me or any of the other members of the team if you feel like we can support you on your journey.